all the fans worldwide and uh, all Thai fans and my beloved Filipino fans and Latin fans. Uh, and thank you indeed for um, visiting our page tonight because we got a very, very special guest very special guest she is now become you know the hottest filipinas probably in thailand uh -huh. she was uh, she is most beloved probably you know much expected to be known okay that's why i would love her to be in my program okay i'm admin co of kp1 worldwide and i would love to uh present and welcome the very hot very hot Filipina at the moment, Kimberly and Ticket Tickets. Okay, meaning meaning number 16. Hi, Kimberly, how are you? Can you tell, you know, can you greet all the fans, please? Hello, good evening, everyone. I am so glad to be here. Thank you so much Ko, for giving this um, opportunity to me. I'm really yes, forward, looking forward for this. That's why I'm so happy that you give invites to me. Oh, thank you indeed. Um, thank you. And if you enjoy with me tonight, Kimmy, uh, would you mind to spread your kind word of me to all other Filipina queens? So they, you know, would be willing to give me interview as well. Of course, I'm gonna share that. I'm gonna share um, my experience here to them. Of course. Why I'm. Yep. Yep. Go on. Go on. Right. Okay. Uh, Kimmy um you look very you know beautiful very exotic okay in thailand we call it exotic okay. and you look very much like thai honestly very very much like thai and um, you know when you perform in swimming suit lately oh you just set everything on fire you know you know you just pro everything inside demolish everything you know just unbelievable um very impressed very impressed and um also there's some introduction from the host um talk about your back background which uh, like uh, capture my heart and uh, a lot of fans would love about your journey kimmy would you mind to tell about you know your bio you know um your beginning and how you start with um in pageantry and what make you know come uh what made you come so far yes of course it's my privilege okay everyone so if i know that my name is quite long because it's kimberly and tikas tikas but you can call me guys kim or kimmy because you know it's quite too cute um right now i am 21 years old i already graduated with bachelor of science in tourism management and binibini filipinas pageant is my first ever national pageant so Right now, I'm still, you know, coping, uh, coping with the changes and most especially for the preparation towards our coronation night. And I start um, joining beauty pageant since I was 13 years old or 14 years old that time during my high school days. And during those days, um, I don't have any idea of what is pageantry is all about. I don't know how to smile properly, how to pose. That's why during that time, I wasn't able to win. But then, you know, um, many people helped me to improve myself. That's why I continue joining beauty pageant, which, you know, helps me to, to grow more, to become who I am right now. That's why I joined Binibini Bulacan, where I was able to represent my beloved province of Bulacan here right now in the Binibining Filipinas pageant. Because mm -hmm. I won the title Binibining Bulacan Filipinas. So I know that it is my responsibility to represent my hometown, my province mm -hmm. of Bulacan. Mm. Okay. Uh, about your province, Bulahan, you know, um, it caught my ears, you know, uh, a lot of people talked um, like, you know, on online, you know, I heard so frequent. So probably I would come back to Bulahan, okay, later on. And yeah, I would love you to promote your city. And, you know, um, um, a lot of foreigner after COVID-19, including Thai, probably me, would maybe have a chance to visit Bulahan, okay, later on. If you can, you know, uh, sell your city 
um, by using your you know graduate knowledge as a tourism management is it okay yes. so <laughs> <laughs> right. oh. right here. <laughs> okay, so Kimmy, when you said that you just only 21 years old, um, it surprised me indeed, 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 period, seriously. I couldn't believe that. How, can, how come 21 years old could perform that sizzling? You know, you're so hot. It's so hot and I, so I think actually, <laughs> yeah, indeed, indeed. I think, um, I mean, from from my you know um notice um i think that you probably have some experience but you said that you're just a first timer so it's um doubly impressed me indeed and also i would love to know you came this time under any camp or um you came as an independent but have like a small team behind you Right now, during my winning Filipinas pageant, I am under the Kagandahan Flores camp. I know you know that camp because that's where yeah, I know. Samantha is. Yes, yes. Oh, I think this year is um, the golden year of KF, I think, after the yes. success. We're praying for success. that. Yeah, yeah. After the unbelievable success of Samantha Bernardo, um, I think KF is the most demand. Uh, beauty camp in Philippines, I think, and uh, its name has been surrounded worldwide, you know, have been known, all right, but he did a good job indeed on Samantha Bernardo, I'm very impressed, you know, because I'm the one as seen, okay, um, when Samantha compete, thumb up for KF, okay, thumb up. Yeah, <laughs> actually I'm very proud to be a KF BDA. <laughs> all right, 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 so Kimmy, um can you recall about the story that um is is this true that you used to sell uh street food um for quite some time like uh, you know to sustain your living and um yeah sustain your living and you know living stipend or education sort of can you like go into detail to all the fans it's very inspirational you know a lot of people would love to know because it's such a big privilege for me to share my story, to share my experience. Because, you know, I want to inspire other people also to do the same or to strive more in their lives. Um, mm. During my college days, I, know, I mean, during my elementary and high school days, every time that I am on vacation in the school, I always make time to, you know, sell street food outside our house so that I can use um, my time properly and also to save money by that time. But then during my college days, I started to be a working student. I work in a fast food chain um, in my hometown. That's why I have this experience of how should I deal with other people? Because, you know, um, working in a fast food chain is not easy. I swear, you know, you no. need to you need to be flexible. You need yep. to have this strong determination because you know some customer. I'm not saying that everyone, but you know some customer you will be able to encounter that they are rude. But you know, you yourself, you need to be strong so that you will be able to cope with that situation. And mm -hmm. then I worked for almost three years until I graduated. And then right now, during the pandemic, we all know that many people get affected. Uh, mm -hmm. And also, my imagine stop because, mm -hmm. you know, we want to make sure the safety of everyone. That's why um, during this pandemic, I became a PUI or person under investigation. And that time is very challenging to me as an individual because it's not just that. that that I think that I should still be continuing my Binibining Filipinas pageant or should I stop because I don't have this fund right now. But mm. with the help of those people believing in my capabilities, I decide mm. to continue. And then after mm. my PUI stage, the next problem is that how can I make a living? How can I yeah. help my family with in terms of our mm. daily needs? 
That's why mm. I decided to go back to my routine before, which is to sell street food. Because I personally, I really, really love eating street food. That's why I go back to that time and I choose to sell street food. And actually, I'm I'm surprised that it get um, it went viral here in the Philippines. But for me, it's you know, I'm just a, like an ordinary individual who. Needs to live who needs to raise money for me to to um to provide meals to my family as well and to help my parents that's why i am so happy that i was able to inspire other people and i hope that i will be given still a chance to do that so and you know even though we are in the pandemic i know that all of us can past this because we are determined no matter what i know that deep in our hearts we can do anything yep that's right um you know your story but um uh, when it you know caught my ears um during the horse um what what crashing before you step up um uh aside the pool uh i think oh oh i love this story because um in Thailand, in my post, I think um, uh, I met one post according to your story, comparable to uh, Thai Queen. Okay, uh, in Thailand, in um, MUT 2020 last year, there's also um, another contestant. Um, her name is Oi. Okay, Piyatida Po Thong. She, you know. Um, she has been um selling street food for a long 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 time you know uh even before competing um in pageantry and she never shy of telling the truth to anyone uh-huh so um i mean when um your story came up i just you know um i so be i'm so glad because it like um uh, it's like a testimonial of another story in Thailand, and it's very inspirational. I mean, um, and also I always love, you know, beauty queen to be authentic. Okay, um, I also always always admire authenticity. Okay, I think um, there's no point to to cover, you know, your hardship, you know, your best experience, but because if you can speed up your experience. Um, you just represent actually the bigger voice, you know, hidden in the society, you know, and you inspire a lot of people, you know, um, to be daring to step up. Uh huh. So that's why I, you know, after I saw you perform, and I think, oh, I, I will try every way I can to get you. And I'm so glad that you accept my invitation. You know, I'm so glad indeed. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of people just ask me, uh, if you have a chance to talk with Kimmy, can you ask Kimmy about the tip? Um, what inspired you to like to walk like that, to make that turn? To, yeah, you know, you, you just, it seemed like you got the fire on your heel, you know, every step you made. Actually, um, since 2019, I'm already doing my trainings as my preparation for my provincial pageant. But um, joining Binibining Filipinas pageant gives me the urge to really prepare more, to keep myself ready for the coronation night and also for the swimsuit competition. I think the main inspiration that I have within me is my core team because they, dedicate, they dedicated my ta their time to me just for me to be able to perform well. Oh, thank you so much for that. <laughs> right. Uh, keep going. Then, um, keep going. I just enjoy the moment. That's the best tip that I can give to everyone. If you just go with the flow, enjoy every post that you have, enjoy every step that you can then it's a lot all turn out great so yeah just enjoy it <laughs> all right just enjoy it so um 
for some of my friends who asked me this question to Kimi, okay, you already knew. Um, just en just enjoy yourself every moment, okay? And um, it will give some adrenaline, okay? And driving, uh, help driving you uh, to make uh, the performance so fiery, so fierce. <laughs> and also, Kimi, um, about your age, you're uh, 21 and first time uh, and also, you know, struggling. Um, it probably on the minor size. So would you feel intimidated um, by, you know, by other contestants who, you know, um, probably uh, more, more well equipped than you? And I mean, I would... I would love to ask a straightforward question, okay? It's my, it's my style, okay? Don't take it personally. Actually, um, I think that every one of us has our own strength in terms of this competition. It's just that instead of, uh, instead of building the competition itself to, uh, or being competitive with one another, what we build is the sisterhood. And that's why I really appreciate that. I really treasure that. And that, you know, every time I romp, every time we have an activity or event, the only thing that I put into my heart is that this fight is not just for myself. It's the fight of those people who believing in me. That's why I really push myself more. That's why I always give my best in every aspect of the competition. Mm. So you, you got a very positive mind then. Uh, I mean... I would love to know that is that um is the pageantry um big in your province like uh, Bulahan? I mean, when you become their representative, would that you know um put a lot of pressure or um have a high expectation from you? Yes, actually, I think it's already on that. When you won the uh, provincial title, the expectation and the pressure is in you. That's why you need to, you know, you need to step up. You need to give your best so that your kababayan or your um, fellow Filipino, fellow Bulacanos will not be disappointed. That's why I really, really, really give my best all throughout because I know that I'm not just representing myself. I represent, I'm representing the whole province of Bulacan. Hmm. Mm. Okay, so um, you take all the pressure into positivity, uh, yes. like to perform the best. Uh huh. So even I'm not a you know in your province, I you know I still feel inspired by your worth. Like I would love to give you more support. You know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed, indeed, and um. I really knew about your advocacy. Do you have one, any? Give me. Yes, of course. My advocacy mm. is that about mental health concerns, most especially mm. that I myself, I consider myself that I experienced my darkest hours and I was able to live up. I was able to stand up from those adversities and trials because I have those people that God sent me for me to stand up and, and continue my journey. That's why right now, I want mm. other people to do the same. Because mm -hmm. I know that just sharing my story, sharing my experience, I will be able to experience, um, to inspire them. Where mm. they will be, do the same. They will stand up and continue their lives. Because there's mm -hmm. always beauty in everything. We just need to have this right mindset. And I know that we will never be go. You will never go wrong with that. Mm, that's right. So, um, Kimi, do you have like any suggestion um, to one that uh, probably might not, you know, in public like you? Uh, they might be a very, you know, tiny voice and uh, they might experience some bullying or, you know, being ignored. Uh huh. So, um, how how would you recommend them to like to find a way to be you know to be recognized or to be you know to to have a place in the society? Especially, it would start from their mind or their mindset first. Actually, I think that everyone experiences bullying, discrimination in different ways. But I think the only thing that we can do for us to stand up is to make ourselves um, to make ourselves know that we are loved. 
not only by ourselves, but there are people who care for us. There are people who is willing to listen to us, most especially our creators. He is always there for us, and we are never alone. It's just that we really need to um, have this right mindset because we can surpass everything. Just always mm -hmm. think positive, <laughs> but not in so, COVID. <laughs> okay, right. So, I, I mean, in Philippines, I, I mean, can you um, recommend them like um, – uh the channel that they can you know went out their frustration or can tell their story um so at least to release some tension in their mentality um is there any way out in philippine or like hotline or something can you you know someone wouldn't wouldn't know at the moment so if you can tell them they would they would realize that when they have some you know mental problem they still have someone to to listen up about their story mm -hmm. Personally, I want to be that person. I have my um, Facebook page wherein they can message me because I really love listening to the story of other people because I know that when we are able to listen to them, we as an individual, we grow as well. It's not just where we are able to help them, but they also help us to be a better individual. That's why I encourage everyone, if you, know, if you have problems or you need someone to talk to, you can talk to me as well. Or I know that every government has a program for that, most especially for our illness, most, and most especially that we have this anxiety. Because of the pandemic, many people experience anxiety and depression. That's why I really encourage everyone to look to someone who can listen to you because you don't need to carry that alone. Hmm. We have our friends, we have our relatives, and that's their purpose. They are here for us. So let's just we just need to speak up with them and tell them what our problem is. Yes, that's right. I agree. And um I'm so thank you of you, Kimmy, because um you just um said publicly here that you're always ready to listen and you would love to be the first and foremost to be told um by the you know I that think prime. Admiko, you're yeah. unloved. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm so proud of you indeed. You, I mean, um, you must be like, before you can, you know, accommodate other, um, other story hardship, you have to gain your own strength first. So um, in my consideration, I think you, very, you are very, very strong, my ladies. And um, I do believe that you will doing well. Um, in the coronation night, uh huh, in the preliminary night, I'm I'm sure, I'm sure, because you got a silly mind, you got a strong, strong will indeed. And um, Kimmy, um, do you follow Thai pageantry? Thai pageantry. One of the Thai pageantry that I really follow is Miss Grand International page and their journey because you know one of the crowns in the bidibining filipinas pageant is miss grand international that's why i am really looking forward to them for having this kind of pageant this kind of action where they were able to showcase the talents the personality of all the candidates Mm, right. Um, you know, at the moment, um, in Thailand, uh, we now um like have a lot of Miss Grand Province um competition. Okay, uh, we just um gradually get province by province. At the moment, I think we got about thirteen or fourteen provinces out of seventy seven provinces. Um, before the final night in Miss Grand Thailand, which all seventy seven. Um, province pro representative will be compete on the on the stage. Uh -huh. And what crowd are you aiming for? Of Keep course, it. I want to be in Thailand. That's definitely Miss Grand International. All right, okay. I hope I will be able to see you there. <laughs> oh, please, please. I will treat you, you know, with the best dinner that I could find, you know. Uh, I mean, probably Thai 
Thai Italy uh, would be good for you. Uh huh. And I'm very excited. Don't and... make me fat. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, sure. I'm very excited. If any Filipina would love, you know, to compete in MGI because um the still MGI this year um as long as we all knew that probably uh, will be staged in Thailand again. Uh huh. So um from last time you already see that how you know majestic it was so i would love our neighbor my beloved neighbor philippine to enjoy it again okay in in thailand so very welcome very welcome i mean um do you have any second choice if it's not mgi with all others the any bini 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 crown is i am very happy if I'll just get any one of those crowns because, you know, just for me to be able to have this privilege to represent my dearest country, Philippines, I know that it's a really, really great achievement already. And I will be forever thankful for that if I will be able to give him that opportunity as well. I do believe so. It's very hard indeed to to be on the stage in Philippines, I think, you know, because um, uh, from my experience, such as 100% of uh, Filipina that I'm talking uh, to, all of them would love to be beauty queen. <laughs> so, like, in, in our country, uh, um, every barangay, we have pageants, every school, we also have beauty pageants. So that's why I could really say that every individual every woman here really wants to be a beauty queen. <laughs> yes, it's extreme. I can I, I knew I, I mean for me um I probably dare not to to dream of because it's so 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 competitive um let's think in in terms of figure okay Philippines have 110 million people and probably about 55 percent um are women all right and all women suddenly want to be a beauty queen so oh if I you know would be competing as a Filipina in Philippines. I already got about um fifty fifty four nine 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 million people as a competitor. Oh, it's very daunting task, you know, <laughs> very high competitive indeed. So that's why um I mean um Philippine pageantry has been viewed in high regard because of um you know people yearning of competing in the you know. For the crowd i mean um they got the stealing wheel indeed um i so admirable of that because i couldn't do that because when i look at, at the figure of the contestant that we're going to meet i i don't think that i'm qualified already you know <laughs> so Kimmy, um, can you tell all the fans about you know how how you prepare yourself over the year like do you have to go like to gym or do you have to concern about your diet or you know what else that you need to avoid like to get yourself very ready on the stage what kind of actually, sacrifice you have to make actually after my graduation i decided not to you know not to work first so that i can focus in the passion free career that i want and Starting that time, after I get my diploma, I already start having my training, most especially for my passarella. That's why um, I know what I'm doing. I know what to do all the time because that's a very long time of preparation for me. And I really salute those people behind me for having this determination and patience for me all the time. But then I think for the preparation, all aspect is important, most especially in the pageantry. I need to be prepared in my walk, in my Q&A, and also my body. I know that that's very important. You need to be healthy, physically fit. And the last thing that I think that is everyone is our mental health. That you need to have this right mindset that I'm joining this pageant. I need to be mm. ready. I don't want to lose that easily without giving a fight that I know that I can give 100% of my capabilities. That's why all aspects, I already check it out. 
And every day, I always have this training because I believe that every day is another chance for me to be a better version of myself. Mm. Big applause, big applause. <laughs> I mean, you got a very good mindset, okay? Uh, very good mindset. And um, even though you're not, you might, might not like a, a quick talker, like the speedy talker, but what, you, what you're talking is uh, very essential. Uh -huh, very substantive and poignant. So um, it's confirmed, I believe, again, that you will make, you know, in top 12 or top 10 for sure. For sure. I'm praying for that. <laughs> yes, yes, you will. You will. And you get my prayer as well, okay? I will pray from Thailand to get you there. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, give me... Um, I mean, it's quite personal question. I would like to get your your will, okay? Um, now today, I mean, for the last two years, I think that talk. Um, there's a lot of increasing. There's increasing talk of like beauty standard. I mean, in your in your own opinion, I mean, can you like, if if it were yourself, you prefer to like to stay, ha to stay being lean, okay? stay being lean like a, have a high like a standard figure for beauty queen or um i mean you can be anything and be proud of yourself on the stage <laughs> i think that every organization or every um every organizer of an event of uh, or an pa a pageant they have this qualification that's why I really respect that, but I think what we really need is someone who is physically fit, who will be able to go out, who can share her story, who can help other people, who can inspire other people, because that's the role of Beauty Queen. We need to be the voice. We need to share our story, the story of other people as well, so that many people will be given the chance as well to pursue their dreams. So that they will be able to know that my dream matter, my dream can can turn into reality. Mm, right, right. So Kimi, if you would um if you were um a Philippine representative in MGI, okay, tell me what you're going to present. What 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 the thing that you're going to bring um, from Philippines to present on the stage in MGI if you were a Philippine representative now? Do you mean uh, um, my performance or a particular thing, sorry? Any, any, any in your mind. I mean, if you were select, if now, if you were selected as a Philippine, um representative to um to you know to join oh, okay. miss guy international okay. okay i think for my first i think the most important thing that i should bring of course is my rosary because that's where i get my strength of course and also my notebook where i always wrote all the knowledge that i gained so that for the q and a i will be able to speak up I can share something to other people. And of course, your heels, you can't romp without heels, you know, because heels added some grace whenever I walk. And I know that all beauty queens know that as well. And mm. for the food, what I want to bring is chicharron. I don't know if you know that or if you have there in Thailand, but that's very delicious. But it, I know that it's prohibited when you are in a diet because it adds calories it adds fat so it will make you fat but it's really delicious also oh, really? When you dip it with vinegar i really love that <laughs> okay so um i mean is that the dessert or appetizer um it's like an appetizer that you want to eat but it can also be the main dish if you can also eat that with rice it's, uh, it's like spring roll? This no, is a spring uh, roll? It's like a, the fat of the pig, the um, the skin of oh. the pig. Oh, like, 
okay, I got it. I got it. So, um, like a skin, right? Like a skin of the of a you know of a pig, and you will dip um in um condensed sauce, which is quite sweet. I mean, in Thailand. I, I lost my um, connection. <laughs> Oh, all right. Okay, I repeat again. Uh, I think that's probably some kind of um main dish in Thailand. Um, uh, it made out of the skin of the pig. Okay. Um, we we brought pig to to like uh, to charcoal, and then um we get their skin. Okay, into piece, and how we eat like we just you know pick each piece and dip into a uh, condensed sauce, which is sweet. Is that the same thing? But uh, in Thailand, yeah. it's a main, it's a main course, not an appetizer. It's a main course. Quite the same, is it? Something is uh here in the Philippines. It's like you know a junk food, where we oh, have, really? where, um, when we are watching TV or movies, we just eat this like that. Okay, like popcorn, is it? Like popcorn. Yeah, it's somehow similar with that. Okay, right. But it's okay. this is quite sour and salty, yeah, sorry. Okay, so it's got um I rarely ask um anyone, if even you know, um my Philippine friends, my Filipino friends about uh Philippine uh, food. And now I'm talking with the right person. Um if I would like to to be recommend um the very delicious foods, um of Philippines. Can you tell me about three or four dishes? Mm -hmm. What is the best in your in, in your perfect in your perception to you know to present or to talk to convince actually to convince foreigner to try? Actually for the main main course or main dish what I always want is hinigang na bad boy. It is something that gives you the it's like a face when you'll be able to, your face will be squeezed because it's so, I don't, I forget the English term for ma'asim. <laughs> it's so sour. Yeah, that's the right word. The word. Okay, it's sour. That way. But the pork, you can feel it. You can taste the sour. That's why I really love that one. That one is sinigang. Any kind of mm. sinigang. Sinigang na baboy or sinigang na pork. Beef, it's okay. The other one is adobo. I know that every Filipino loves adobo because we can eat it um, every day. We can recook it because it's not easily get spoiled. The third would be mm -hmm. um, menudo. I am, I am a fan of eating pork. That's why most of this food are pork. The last one would definitely be bagoong. I know that bagoong is a is a um is a side dish only, but I love that. I ate I ate this with rice, and it makes me feel uh, I want mango <laughs> because oh, no, mango. it's perfect with mango, right? The bagoong, or I should say the um the fermented fish. That's what we call bagoong here in the Philippines. Fermented fish in English. All right. Okay. So, um, I mean, after the pro program, I will, you know, tell my friend, hey, can you check on um, the list that Kimi gave me? So, um, I will, you know, try to find in uh, some Filipino restaurant in Thailand, in Bangkok, probably. Um, I heard that there's, you know, there's a couple. Um, I think they will understand and they could make it. If I go, <laughs> just special case. It's very delicious. You should really try it. Uh, yes, yes, I will definitely because I already talked with you, the expert of the food. Okay, <laughs> I'm so glad indeed because now I find the expert indeed. Normally, when I talk with um Filipinos, we always talk about pageantry twenty four hours. I can say everything oh. about you know about they saying you know pageantry, pageantry, which I learned a lot from them. Okay. Um, I, I love my friend indeed. And um, uh, Kimmy, have you ever been overseas or have you ever been to Thailand? No, I've never. Um, I'm praying to go, go to 
international in any country outside the Philippines um, in representing my country because I wasn't able yet to go outside of my country. And I hope that I will be given a chance right now. And I want to be in Thailand. That's the first country that I want to go with. Oh, to all the fans, especially, you know, uh, Filipino fans in Philippines, it would if um you wouldn't realize that actually if um pageant lover they all knew that thailand is actually philippines lucky charm okay because if you notice that um every you know a successful queen internationally uh-huh of philippines always have something you know um closely related to thailand you know like um pia okay be a visit to Tha visit Thailand and uh, you know have some chat in the temple and then went back to Philippines to compete BBP 2015 you know and won and then became Miss Universe also Katiana and the latest one Samantha Bernardo okay Katiana so agree, yes our Miss Universe yes, yes. so all three okay yeah, all three, you know, the, the world, you know, prestigious um, Filipina queens, all, you know, closely related to, to Thailand. So that's right. Um, so just dreaming, okay? If you have a chance to compete in Thailand, probably you might be won. You might be, uh, you might be crowd, okay? Like um, Katriona, okay? And, and this just great like um, Samantha Bernardo. Samantha just excellent, perform incredibly well, indeed, indeed. Uh huh. So um, um, I mean, do you have any other issue that you concern aside aside from mental issue, Kimi? Sorry, but again, can you hear me? I said that. Is there any issue? um in the like um in the society aside from bullying and aside from mental illness that you actually interested into like to interested into advocating or to be a part to to drive for right now all i want to be part with is and how we fight for this pandemic because i know that the real problem that we are facing right now, not just my country, the Philippines, but the whole world is facing that pandemic that we are all hoping that soon uh, we can go back to the normal lives that we are in. And I know that because of this platform, the Binibining Filipinas budget, I myself and my co-candidates are able to inspire other people, you know, because we are all vaccinated right now. My co-Binibining Filipinas candidates, we are all vaccinated and we encourage everyone to be vaccinated as well because I know that um, being vaccinated is not just a responsibility in ourselves, but also a social responsibility that yes. we should all take part on so that we can stop this pandemic yeah that's right so okay that's a very uh interest um interesting um answer uh kimmy when you got injected um would you like um curious about the brand of the vaccine that you got or you wouldn't you know you wouldn't care um you just think that okay um at the moment i would love to get protect uh, get protected as soon as i could um to help like you know to help reduce um, the contraction in the society. Would I mean, would you mind about the brand um, of vaccine that you got at the time when you got injected? Or you wouldn't you wouldn't care? Actually, um, it's not an issue for me no matter what brand is it is, because what I believe is that the best vaccine is the vaccine that is readily available because yes it's yes, not the time yes. for us to be choosy or to choose what brand we wanted but it's a, it's the time for us to be vaccinated yes. uh, most especially that the virus keeps spreading so that we will be safe as well yep that's right i mean um as soon as you get protected so you can live your life more normally right you can you know uh go outside you can uh you know mingle with among 
people, right? At least at a certain level, even though it's not hundred percent of like protected guarantee, but at least you know you have more chance than someone not vaccinated, you know, to to be around anyway. So thank you for answer. Um, this question, Kimmy, because you got you 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 inspire um quite many indeed out out there, okay, who still hesitated to to get vaccinated, you know, like someone in Thailand, even you know, not someone actually many, they they prefer brand, okay, they say that they are going to wait, okay, um even paying, they prefer to wait for certain certain brand uh, instead of the vaccine available uh-huh this you know that's some kind of thing but for me i mean uh during covid okay and it has prolonged our you know our life for about two getting three years already i think um i share the same idea with you like the best vaccine is the best one available for us now i mean as soon as we get is it's, it's better so up uh, so economy will getting going, you know, people just come to visit Philippines and Thailand, you know, and our tourism will blossom again, I think, in that part. And people, you know, can, you know, can make that own trade. So the money, the cash flow will be getting into economy, you know, so um, hard life will, in you know, much be lessened. Uh -huh. And... Uh, according to your study, Kimi, you study tourist management. And um, can you tell all the fans, including me as well, uh, what kind of tourism management that um, you've been studying about and how you apply your study to, 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 you know, in the real practice, if you have a chance? Yes, Kimmy. 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 I think I'm having a problem connection. Can you hear me, Kimmy? Okay. Yeah, it's okay right now. I'm okay. Sorry. What about the question? Um, have you heard my question? Um, only the first part, but not the latter one. Okay, okay, I'm going it again. I said that, um, can you explain or, you know, tell um, me and also all the fans out there about um, what what's all about your studying, tourism management, and also um, what is your view on tourism management in your study to be applied um, with the real life uh, under COVID or probably after COVID? Because um, I personally believe that after COVID, actually during this pandemic, one of the most um, greatly affected industries is the tourism industry right now. Because you know there are travel restrictions, travel ban, and some tourist attractions are closed. That's why it really um, break my heart to know to be in this time right now that we are all suffering. And about my education, I really took tourism management because I want to travel. That's the reality behind it. Because I want to see the beauty not only in my of my country, the Philippines, but also the Oh, we lost um the signal. Uh oh, probably um all the fans just wait a little bit. Um um, we have to wait until uh, Kimmy reconnect again. Oh, she's coming up. Uh, oh. Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry. My connection is having lag That's right okay. now. That's so okay. That's okay. Okay, keep going. Back. So, yeah. I took tourism management so I can travel because I want to be a flight attendant as well if I'll be mm. given a chance. Mm. to that dream of mine because right now the tourism industry is really greatly affected because of the pandemic that's mm. why i'm hoping for this pandemic to stop soon so that we can all go back 
to the things that we used to do to the um so that some industries will be able to rise up again and the employment rate of every um country will be able to rise as well mm i mean um i mean i i would like to add um some more detail on on your answer which is correct um what do you think kimmy uh even though now we has been you know um like gravely affected okay uh by covid 19 definitely tourism is number one uh-huh but um would you think that after covid it would turn around completely tourism would be probably the you know the most the most pop, uh, prospering um, industry. So, I mean, um, during this time, it's almost like about to change. It's about to get the point of change. And if, um, I mean, someone in the industry, I, I wonder, I wonder, I mean, I wonder if someone in the industry get prepared for, you know, for the you know the change of business sentiment um after covid i mean if covid no finished yes kimmy hello kimmy kimmy oh the sick um i think sick now um okay Oh. Okay. Kimmy. Okay. So have you heard that uh have you heard that my question? Uh, not not not, not question actually. Oh. Some addition of uh, my idea into your answer. Have you heard of that? Only the first part again. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. I understand because of the bad signal. Because um, yesterday I also experienced a um, very bad signal. Um, I asking you in my will. I mean, I wonder, um, people in the tourism industry would they be aware of um, like probably the chain of business sentiment after COVID nineteen being curbed? They might be very positive, and at the moment, um, would they get themselves prepared to reopen like to? To like to get staff, I mean to, um, I mean to contact staff beforehand. So after COVID end, probably by the end of this year, the business will you know will become explosive again. I mean, I mean in my point of view, I you know because I think it's almost get the, the lowest point, and it's going to be like um a change point soon. Uh huh. And if um in the people in the industry wouldn't aware of this, they wouldn't get prepared. Okay. And after COVID nineteen end, they couldn't catch up the like the opportunity. Uh huh. So I mean, in Thailand, we start to like um to to get prepared. So uh, I would love to see my friend Philippines, uh, you know, in the tourism um, industry to get themselves prepared as well, you know. It probably in a couple of months, so uh, try to connect with that one staff, you know, that old staff, uh, that, okay, are you ready to come back of sort of, uh -huh. so after COVID-19 end and everybody get vaccinated, the country will, re be, um, the country will reopen and, you know, a lot of tourists will come and then everything just flow what do you think what do you think about my idea kimmy is that possible i think yes i think that is very possible most especially if we um the citizens will just cooperate on the protocols that we have and if we just be a responsible citizen as well so i really encourage everyone to be vaccinated so that it will be easier for us to go together again, to hang out with our friends, to have dinner outside of our houses. And I know yeah. that they will come as well. We just need to have this unity and teamwork with each other. And of course, keep on praying so that God will, our creator will um, give that to us. Oh, yes, yes. And Kimmy, uh, there's someone DM me and ask, um, ask you if you can tell. Um, 
can um what do you um now uh, do you have any strategy to um to use on the stage in mini mini coronation night and preliminary night do you have any you know killing strategy i think that every candidate of, uh, or every so um everyone who joins pageant or into something we always think of our strategies our plans for us to stand out and to, to get that goal i myself and my team we're planning of doing something most especially for the execution of the gown for the swimsuit and for the q a part my strategy would definitely be being myself sharing my story because i know that in doing so i'll be able to touch the hearts of the judges touch the heart of the people who are watching with me and i know that gives me a more chances of winning because sharing my story is what make me authentic and being authentic is something to be grateful for yeah that's true that's true and uh kimmy if uh, i can i give you a chance to look into yourself um what else in yourself that you need to you know like to improve or to get um to get add up Um, personally, I think that I'm still too fat right now. I still need to gain that abs that I always wanted. But um, on the other hand, one thing that I still want to improve more is for my Q and A. I still want to learn the stories of other people because in the beginning Filipinas page I, uh, pageant, I just don't want to share my own experience or my own story, but also. I want to share the story of other people. If I Kimmy, Kimmy. Kimmy. Okay, okay, get going. It's you know it's cut. Uh, it was cut loss. Uh, at the mid of your um your explanation. Okay, just uh get connect. You said that you would like to improve your Q and A. Um, so okay, in uh in what way you would love to 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 improve then? Because it's lost. Um, the signal is lost. I think the best way for me to improve my Q&A is just by listening the stories of other people because I don't want to stand there answering the Q&A just for myself. I want to represent every people I was able to encounter all throughout my journey because sharing their stories, I know that I was able to inspire other people as well because listening to their stories, their experience, it helps me to some better because I'm not just holding my story. I'm holding the story of every people that I was able to listen to. And I know that that is a very important thing and that makes me more ready for the competition. And Kimmy, do you know what? Um, today, uh, that's got uh, many special feature uh, for your coming on my um on my program because today is the last day of june and june is the prime month okay um right so um i would like to know about your view um your point of view okay on lgbtq community okay so um what do you think about lgbtq in general and um would you be supportive of any endeavor of um, lgbtq member Actually, the theme behind me, my core theme, my support system are mostly from the LGBTQ family. That's why I am really supportive to every one of them because I will never be here from where I am right now if not because of them. They are the one who gives time for me, knowledge to me, and training. That's why no matter what happened, I'll support them because they supported me as well all throughout my journey. And I know that These people, the LGBTQ family that we have, are great individuals because they have the stories which um, makes every one of us happy because they always make me smile, right? Right, Deba? That they gave us data stories, 
which inspires us as well. That's why I really love them so much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you know what? For for the last two days, I think um you already knew that um uh, Miss Nevada USA uh 2021, which is um half Filipina and American, um has been uh you know um winning, um on the stage, and she become the first trans lady to win uh Miss Nevada USA. How do you feel? They also, you know, oh. someone that you're crossing with because um, she is um, LGBTQ and also she Filipina. How do you feel? Of course, I am so proud to her because she is a Filipina. She's carrying the blood that we Filipinos have. That's why I want to congratulate her for that achievement. And I know that being a transgender is, there's nothing wrong with that. She's just able to, you know, she just want to express herself and i believe that every one of us deserves that we have the right to express what we want to express express what we feel and i salute her for being brave and showing her capabilities sharing her stories and i am looking forward to meet her soon or all throughout her journey I'm very proud of her as well. And Kimmy, um, I mean, would you agree and would you fully support if, I mean, if in Philippine pageantry, okay, um, allow, I mean, um, trans lady to compete with you on the winning winning or on the all female born um, pageantry? Would you support, would you fully support or would you agree or would you disagree? Of course, I support the LGBT community um, in everything that they wanted. But then, um, the Binibining Filipinas pageant where I am a, a candidate have these qualifications and requirements. And I know I respect that because, you know, every organization has their own rules and regulation. And one of it is that you need to be a uh, um, naturally born woman. That's why I, I, know, and I know that our LGBT family, they are very talented. They have this heart who can serve, who can inspire other people. And I know there's a great, um, there's a bigger arena for them for in where they can showcase the talent, the personality, and their advocacies all throughout the world. All right. Okay. I, I totally agree with you. I mean, um, every, you know, society has its, has its own rule and, you know, has its own rule. And, uh, I mean, if we would love to go according to, to that society, we need to, to hit off all the rule of engagement. I think that's very important. Uh huh. So if, um, the rule has been changed one day, um, I think, Everyone, including you and me, would be more than happy to embrace it. I think, you know, it's a good idea. And probably the next question uh, is going to be very daring, okay? And I never ask anyone on earth, are you ready to answer my question, Kimmy? Of course, go. <laughs> okay, okay. This question is quite related to your advocacy as well. It's um like, okay, you're a lady, all right, and you already you're already in the pageantry. And um, I think um, in pageantry, I mean, in all women pageantry, all, all I think, um, I think, I believe, okay, also have um, a gay woman, a gay woman, you know, um, like um, a LGBT lady who actually compete in the pageantry. Uh-huh. And, um, would you encourage her to to come out or be in the closest as a beauty queen? You know what I mean? I mean, it's quite different from um, from male um, nowadays. Like if you are gay, you just proclaim yourself that I'm gay openly. But for the lady, if you come, you know, if you compete in a beauty beginning, okay, but you actually love a woman and Definitely, you would, you know, feel stressful sometimes because nobody knew. Um, according to your advocacy, um, you would love to, um, like, lessen someone's mental tension. Would you agree, I mean, would you choose to encourage her to, 
to step up to step up and come out that I'm gay or um, would you say that okay you just stay in the closet I personally would encourage her um, to step up and show who, um, who she really is because that is very important you yourself you need to accept who you are so that other people will appreciate you, will accept you. It should start within yourself. So I know that if she um, she will be able to um, hear the words that she needs, she will be able to have this gut, this, this confidence to show to everyone her capabilities. Because if you don't have the trust to yourself that this is me, you need to accept me. And if you guys accept me, you will know that I am good that I'll be able to step up in the world that you guys are taking with. And I know that there's nothing wrong with our gender or with our um, sex. What is important is that we love who we are and those people around us will also learn to love us as well. Mm, that's a very good answer. Okay. Oh, I feel very, you know, um, I mean, I, I feel very glad that being hurt such a nice 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 answer very encouraging and um i mean um just i would love you to add a little more okay on this um if that person or anyone out there just feel that they they're afraid of uh, social stigma if they come out you know and they would feel that other other peers in the pageantry would stay away from her because um, her sexual orientation is into a woman. So what kind of message would you love to send to her? The message that I will definitely want to send to her is that I am here for you. I believe in you. I trust that you trust yourself and you love yourself, that's why other people will love you as well. So stand up, speak up, and show to the world who you are. Mm. And, oh, okay. So Kimmy is the most daring, I, I can say, the most daring queen that I ever asked, okay? Because it's quite um, contentious, okay? And controversial for a lady uh, to be asked. But she did it excellent, okay? With courage, okay? Uh, um, that's amazing. And um, um, according to Kimmy, um, I would love to uh, emphasize on her answer and I'm very supportive of her answer as well. I mean, if there is any, okay, um, beauty queen, uh, I mean, a woman beauty queen um, who, who is gay and still, you know, in the closet and would be afraid of like um, rejection, okay, don't be afraid to come out, okay, and step forward because um, you've got a beautiful lady like Kimmy and a lot beside her and a lot, you know, people beside her, behind her, in, including me, to support you, okay? I mean, we saw a lot of um, gay men come out already, but um, I think there's more room for, you know, gay women to come out as well. Um, and we are out there to support you. I mean, if there is any, don't be shy of being yourself, being authentic, okay? Embrace uh, who you are. Um, your merit will de determine, you know, um, who you are, actually. It's not, um, it's not something that um, your preference, personally. Um, I'm really, you know, impressed by your answer, Kimmy. Um, I don't think that Q&A will be your problem. No, it's never. Because it's, it's a hard, it's a quite hard question indeed that I gave you. Because, um, but the thing is, you channel it with your heart. So it's very easy. You spoke from your heart. So every question for anyone that listening up our program now, um, Kimmy already demonstrated that even hard, the hardest question, she can, you know, it, just speak or just answer straight from your heart and everything will be very easy. Look at Kimmy. And Kimmy, do you have any question to or anything to say to, to Thai fans especially? Because um, 
I can say, uh, even though you're not um, like um, like um, the star, like you know, a uh, crowd contender, but a lot of people, you know, just talk about your name because uh, your performance just superb, and um, you sort of diva, okay? You sort of diva for LGBTQ, okay? Thank you so much for all the appreciation that you are giving me, most especially after my swimsuit competition. I didn't expect anything from other people, most especially those outside my country, that they are able to see something, saw something in my performance, and they love it. And I'm promising that I will still give my best, and I want to take the round for the swimsuit. I know that you guys will wait for that because I am really giving my best. This is my shot. This is my time. <laughs> oh, yes, that's correct. That's right. And uh, Kimmy, would you mind to shout out um, to all your fans and Filipinas, Filipinos to follow my page, KP1 Worldwide? Yes, of course. To all Bulacanos, to all Filipinos. Follow KP1 Worldwide because here you will be able to know more beauty queens, more inspiration and inspirational individuals where you can get knowledge, inspirational talks. And I know that you it you will it will help you a lot in terms of your building yourself because you know with admin co such a great speaker, a great host, you will never be bored. That's why follow oh, this KP1. Kimmy. Oh, I love Kimmy. <laughs> Kimmy, um, it's my tradition, okay? Because um, I always put gratitude um, as my first and foremost uh, value. Um, I mean... Uh, you come this far and very outstanding in the world of pageantry at the moment, okay? Um, in audience view. Um, would you like to say thank you to anyone behind your success? Because I think it's fair enough to get them recognized, you know, for their contribution of your success. Uh huh. Would you like to say something, uh, okay, for the one that make, yeah, that made you successful today? Okay, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to thank all those people behind me. My Runway Institute family, they are the one who mold me of who I am today, most especially. They prepared me to become a Bini Bini and as well for my Bini Bini, um, my Bini Bini Filipinas family for giving us the Bini Bini's the opportunity to showcase our stories. Kagandahang Flores from family, Tito Rogel, thank you for, um, Seeing the capabilities that I have. So my ginoot, binibining Bulacan Charities family, Lola Chiki, Mami Kenny, thank you so much. So all my makeup artists, I know it's so hard for you guys to do my makeup, but I really love you guys. Thank you so much to my relatives, to my family, of course, to my parents and my siblings. Thank you so much for being so understanding with my journey right now as a binibini. And to all those people who supported me, even though I don't know you guys personally, but you show love and support to me all throughout. I am very much thankful for that love. And I'm promising everyone that I will give my best just to give you all the thing and the pride that you all deserve. And of course, Admin Ko, thank you so much for this opportunity. So that I was able to inspire other people. I was able to share my story. And I hope that I will still get a wider range where I can share my experience all throughout this life. Yeah, sure. I think you will, okay? Uh, after I talking with you, I, I'm so positive. I'm so positive that you're in doing great anyway. And uh, it's going to be the last, last word. Um, would you mind to say, like, to promote your city, Bulahan? And a lot of people, including Thai, would love to visit. And what kind of landscape would be? And what, what part of um, the city situated into in, in the Philippines, in the middle or north or south or, or, or something that you can say? 
Okay, my province of Bulacan is located in central Luzon, so we are very accessible. You can go to the north or you can go to the south without going to our province of Bulacan. And I could truly say that my province may not be rich in beaches, but we are rich in history, culture, arts, and tourism because we have these beautiful views that you can see most especially that they are breath breathtaking. You can have, you know, you can relax and just um, get the fresh air that we have in our province. And I'm really looking forward to you guys to come to my beloved province when this pandemic ends because I know that we all deserve to chill. We all deserve to relax. So let's just do our best, be responsible so that we can end this pandemic soon. Okay, all the fans. Now we know quite so 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 many things, and probably um, some of the deepest, you know, think thinking in her heart, especially like LGBTQ uh, point of view and her strategy to compete in wedding meeting, and also uh, some tourists, some tourists that asked me about Bulahan. You already knew that. Okay, how attract how attractive the city is okay i think everybody who already heard from kimi definitely would love to visit bulahan including me okay so um if you're interested you just get to you know philippine travel agency nearby okay or um, visit consulate of philippine embassy and ask for information all right and i am I'm very encouraging you to visit Bulahan, okay, in Philippines, according to um, beautiful Kimmy. And Kimmy, I would love to send you my love and my support, okay, and everything that you need um, to win the crowd. And I would like to pass my regard and gratitude to all, everyone, um, to be a part of your success, okay? Um, everyone that you mentioned about, or not mention about, but be a part of your journey. Um, I appreciate that. Okay, and thank you for um, for allow yourself. Uh, I thank you you for allow yourself and open your mind to be interviewed by me. Okay, and all your uh, all your team as well to be agree to 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 let you to speak up with me. Okay, uh, I appreciate that. And I'm, I'm glad indeed. And I would love you to pass, you know, your kind word and kind thought of me to all your co-peers, okay? Your peers in the pageantry. Um, I support of Philippine pageantry, um, the same as I do for Thai pageantry as well. And thank you for tonight. And I wish you all the best. I will keep following you. And any question or anything, I would love to know. I will IG you, okay? And I wish that you would have a chance to, to reply, okay? Uh, thank you for tonight. What about all the fans? Please, please, please follow uh, Kimmy, okay? IG, Kimberly, tickets, tickets, okay? Um, she got a very good prospect, all right? Um, so we will never go wrong. If we're rooting her, all right? I'm supporting her, definitely. Okay, thank you for tonight. Thank you for your time, Kimmy. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you for everything for tonight. Thank you okay, have a thank good you night. So much. Okay, thank you. Have a good night. Sadika. Salamat po. Sadika. Sadika.